Hey y'all, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Okay, you know where you at, Deb Snails 48 World. Let's get into this tea. Okay, this conversation, this little bit of information, we finna blast out on my social media platform. Apollo is back. In a sense, he's not like totally free. He's in that halfway house trying to serve the last three months. He's supposed to be getting out on November 26th. I think that's Thanksgiving, y'all. I think so. I'm not sure, but it's really around that time. So what a feast to be had to have him home back with his boys. Okay? If Phaedra let him see him. Now, I ain't gonna put Phaedra in, in this photo because she don't got on my nerve, honey. She been out there trying to date here, there, and everywhere and possibly get engaged before Apollo gets home. You know, on his own dirt sand. His own digs. Okay? I'm so tired of her. I'm just so tired of Phaedra. Okay? I'm just so tired of Phaedra. But we ain't talking about Phaedra today. We finna move on from her. Okay? We back on Apollo. Apollo is doing his darn thing. Trying to live the best life he can at this point. Because he's still not totally let go. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. That's what he keep telling himself. Or keep telling himself. But they're going to let me out in three months. They're going to let me out. And please don't get back in, in any more trouble. Let's throw hands and prayers up for Apollo Nida to be forever graced on this earth. To not be behind cell block number D. Okay? Let him be out with his boys. Raising them. Telling them. Showing them how to live the best life you can possibly live. As an honorable man. Okay? Yes, we ask these things in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. 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 Let the church. Let the synagogue. Let the temple say amen. Okay? We all in agreement with that. We're going to move on. Okay? Paulo is showing us his skills. I don't know if he acquired them prior to going to jail or he acquired them, uh, uh, a, what do you call it, uh, took some classes or whatnot in jail and got his cosmetology degree. I'm not sure. Don't fact check me on it. I'm just saying when you go to jail, it seems like people find religion when the religion was out before they went to jail. They start getting degrees in, in, in prison, you know. Messed around on got their GED if they didn't finish high school and on turn and got corporate, excuse me, corporate on our behalf and then got a business license or a theology degree or shoot some social service type degree in jail. And where they do that at? Okay. You mean you're going to take our government funds, our taxes, not only just give them food, shelter, and clothing. Okay. And medical expenses if they need it, if it's warranted because of their health conditions. We're going to educate them as well. Okay. And we're going to have them in the tip top of shape when they come out. They're probably looking rusty and dusty and out of weight. I mean, out of weight, out of shape when they went in. And they come in physically fit, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Oh, but I understand. Make it make sense. We go, we pay our taxes. For people that commit felony crimes or misdemeanors, however, but if you're misdemeanor, you probably ain't get no jail time. But felony crimes, excuse me. Oh, I'm getting tired. This is gonna be my last video. But I just had to touch on it. Kind of like, wait a minute, where where do they do that at? Only in America. Okay, only in America. The melting pot. Yeah, the melting pot of the world. Okay. But anyway, media takeout. Uh, news, blog news, magazine, however you want to see them. Uh, they're some form of entertainment. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't get it right. Sometimes they put us on game, okay? They put us on the correct street, but they fill it with so many other fillers of lies mixed in with the truth. We can't really take it but with a grain of salt. But when other people platform, social media platforms such as a lot of Black Star, a lot of black web or American black web or TMZ, Jasmine Brand, Lovey Scott. When they start breaking out, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the gospel according to this world. All right. But usually they've gotten better. They've gotten a lot better because I think they've gotten sued so much. They don't want to take any more monetary hits. Okay. But whoever wrote this article is giving me Tiffany Brockworth. Who I guess is an employee of TM. I'm gonna say TMZ. 
media takeout MTO news. Uh, maybe she's a journalist. I'm not sure. Maybe she's freelancing. Meaning she's contracted to just write stories for them, but she's not with their entity per se. Okay. I don't know. Let's give her claim to fame, though. She wrote her titled article uh, for talking about uh, Apollo Nada becoming a barber. Now, he's in a cosmetologist. I guess he don't pass his license. Don't got a license in jail. And he just had to serve his time. Three months remaining on his sentence, and I guess he can come out and get it stamped or approved for the state of Georgia to be doing uh, barber, barbering type of work. Okay, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta Apollo works as a barber, and Twitter says he sucks. Okay, now some other platforms I did um, see that exactly what Mrs. Tiffany is talking about. Uh, but then I saw some other comments were praising him. Not, I, mean, I, I like, hate to use the word praising, but admiring him for getting, you know, honest work and, and learning a skill. Because you do have some barbers, they actually do celebrities type of hair. And they pay buku money, uh, especially if you can cut real good and your skills are on point. Honey, you might have to be with them the whole time they filming. Well, the whole time they in concert, you know, traveling the world, and you just have to cut their hair. And then maybe you have to cut, excuse me, some of the other cast members' um, hair or in their entourage or whatnot, but they're still paying you a good penny. And then you get to say if they one of your favorite artists or whatever, you get to see the show for free, too. That's That's a jumbo deal right there. But getting back to this article and what she had wrote up on this piece of Apollo's barbering skills suck. She goes in to say Real Housewives of Atlanta star Apollo Nada was released from federal prison a few weeks ago. Now he's working as a barber in Atlanta while staying at a halfway house. Now I'm sure this barbering is taking place not in the hood. It's probably upscale, um, kind of like Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive. He probably in Buckhead. That's our Rodeo Drive down here. Yep, he's up there in Lennox, Buckhead, uh, Johns Creek area. Okay, convicted felon. No, but white collar crime, I tell you, they don't look at that. They just kind of like cap that on your hands. You don't get like no murder rap or nothing like that. It's just like, okay. Okay, I see you, but we're not letting you near no money. Or no clients with money, Okay. Especially the credit cards. Uh -uh, they need to just give you cash. So we can count that out, file it, so you can get your W-2s together. But that's just how that was. Not in this article, my wholeheartedly content. But getting back to the article, it says, As yesterday, Apollo posted a picture on social media of one of the haircuts he gave his clients. Unfortunately, the commenters did not seem to like Apollo's haircutting skills. According to many of the commentators, Apollo was bad at giving haircuts. They claim that the former inmate cut the parts way too wide. Okay, now if you go to his Instagram account, which is called Apollo Nada 03, you'll see the picture that they're talking about. And I do have it in my video uh, presentation for you all. Now, I don't know. It kind of looked kind of decent to me because I've seen some wide parts, even on ladies' heads. But I can see how they're saying it's kind of like uh, starting off short and then it gets wider. But, I mean, maybe that's how he wanted it. Or maybe his head is a little bit bigger than what we're getting to see. Because we're getting a side view of Apollo's taking the picture. He didn't get, like, a well-rounded picture, like, in front of him. He might have a little messed up head. I don't know. But, hey, they was just dogging him out in his comments. The only few ones I saw were, like, maybe three. Three or four. So, I, I, I know, maybe it was just too long of a list for somebody who took the picture and put it in the, um, the article. Maybe it was that. I'm not sure. But it goes on to say, here's a pic of Apollo's allegedly bad haircut. Here's an example or a sample of all the fuckery that's going on in Apollo's comments. Okay? They were bla blasting him. And I'm just going to read a few. And if you want to go uh, to Apollo Nada 03 on Instagram, I'm sure unless he's deleted it, uh, he got the kit back. When they, they, they came on his uh, court, and they're trying to serve him up. He pretty much slammed on their behinds back to where they came from. If you want to read the comments. And that's just how I viewed it. From my perspective, okay? 
It said people went into Apollo's comments to roast him over the cut, but Apollo was ready for all the smoke. Yeah, he was, y'all. Yeah, he was. Y'all go to his comment section on his Instagram account, and you can see exactly what we're both referring to. Okay, but getting back to the commentary, she wrote, he responded to each and every hater in his comments. Gene, Gina Love wrote, um, now you couldn't have to get back. LOL, poor thing. Don't you wish you came home to a woman worth something? Don't mess up her little tax job, LOL. You know you're going to get tired of being broke soon. Start the fraud stuff. Apollo went in and called him a pussy bitch, okay? Then he went in again and called him a sucker. Then Gina Love replied back to Apollo saying, LOL, you sound hella mad. Make sure you don't go back to prison being this angry and aggressive. And say, I hope your fiancé don't act out and get smacked silly because you have issues. Then we have another um, person that went on his Instagram called Beta, Beta Cyrus. She said, that part big as hell. Apollo got back in her comments and said, the gap in your teeth big as hell. Okay. Then she goes back and says, back to Apollo, I don't have a gap, jailbird. Okay, after recently uh, served, serving five years in federal prison for credit card fraud and identity theft, he currently he's currently living in a halfway house until he's officially released uh, date is in three months. Okay, so we're here. What are we now? August, September, October, November. So, yeah, like I said, I think his release date was around Thanksgiving on November 26th, something to that effect. Don't call me on it. I think I just read it somewhere. That is coming from me, not in this commentary. We just thought where it says uh, release date in three months. Going back to the article, according to OK Magazine on June 14th, Apollo's fiance, Shireen Al Mufiti, uh, took to Instagram and fired back at claims he violated parole. They can't stop us, babe. She wrote at the timeline. Wrote on the timeline, for those who are confused, Apollo didn't violate a goddamn thing. Another crime against a black man in its system. Jealousy is a disease and his PO will die mad. Okay, I don't know what you're really saying, you know. Maybe she's been a little cryptic there. Maybe they're going to uh, him the person who had uh, snitched on them <laughs> while they were trying to have their little intimate moment. They call it uh, conjugal visits, but she's a fiancé. She's not actually married to the man. So I don't know if those conjugal visits can hold up in court. But he didn't really do too much anything because they snatched his butt back and made him serve another month and a half for that infringement. Okay, but going back and moving forward, I don't know. I, mean, I think they're kind of being hard on Apollo. I mean, he's trying to do the right thing. Let's put prayers up for that, okay? He's getting an honorable job, and it can be very lucrative. If he gets his skills real toned up and fierce, and he gets to show a lot more of his work, celebrities are going to come to him because, in a sense, uh, by direct contact with his ex-wife being on a, a household reality type uh, forum of a platform, which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Gave him good opportunity to rub heads or arms or shoulders with other uh, famed entertainment people in the industry. So he's very well known, you know, out there other than just looking good. Because he could take up some modeling gigs. His body is to die for, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to die for it. But, I mean, it's very well chiseled if you get my drill. All right. And he's a nice looking man. So he might can get some modeling gigs. You know, where he's advertising clothes or he's uh, advertising uh, perfume, not perfume, but cologne for men. You know, anybody, because he does have that body. He does have the look. I mean, he's a triple threat, okay? So, um, that's, you know, just to give him other options. Uh, so, let's that, just, you know, be a little bit more patient and a little bit more understanding. Because, like I said, boys growing up without their dads in their life to teach them better and have them do better than they, they did because they've been through the experience of being in something negative. And then you have to be taken away from something that you enjoy to pay your debt to society because, you you know, you did something wrong. You offended people or an individual wrongly. So you have to pay for your actions. 
So, but them boys need their dad and honey. They need their dad. And daddy need to straighten up. He don't need to get back in no more felony cases or anything. And hopefully, they'll get him a show. Or uh, maybe he can appear on that Love at the Lockup. Because I would love to see him on TV and, and, and expressing what happened to him. Hey, he might drop some tea on Phaedra. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, because I know he wasn't in there by himself. That woman was somewhere part up in there. Okay, she was a little mastermind. But he went on and took and pleaded the fifth on some things. But he was like, you better have me my money when I come out. So technically, Fedra better be rustling up his money and putting it in whatever account he told him, told her to put it in when he was going to jail and, and have his stuff set. Okay, whatever car he was driving, he wanted back. Whatever living arrangements, he wants that back, and he wants his money in the bank account. So hopefully, Phaedra has till November, preferably the end of November, to settle all debts with Apollo. Because if not, he's going to come out singing like a jailbird, okay? A jailbird. And we might see her in an orange jumpsuit while he's taking care of the kids, while she's settling some, doing some time to correct her infringements and and. Oh, wait, holly infractions or whatever, okay? Of law, she may have broken, even though she's an attorney at law. Even though I ain't really been hearing about her practicing or doing, because she's an entertainment lawyer, so she should be representing some entertainers around here in Atlanta, Georgia, because we have a lot of them. A lot of them that live here, a lot of them just fly here and handle business and go on back home from whence they came. But yeah, and uh, she's supposed to be doing something in the mortuary field. We ain't got a degree in that. I ain't doing it. It just seemed like she want to be on film. She want to be out there being taped by the paparazzi. Uh, doing whatever, whatever she do. You know, because I'm, I'm still confused. I know she's gotten several, several degrees. Uh, very smart, intelligent woman. But I don't see her anything but want to be hugged up on whatever man of the day or whatever flavor of a man of the week she's trying to get married to or trying to have a relationship with or she's trying to be a model or she's trying to get back with Bravo in some shape, form, or capacity with true entertainment. I don't know where she's going. She's just all the way around the world. I'm like, Lord, mm -mm, not across my, my computer screen. We can't pull her up no more. We can talk about her, but we can't because I don't know what she's doing. It's like she's totally spinning out of control since Apollo is due and slated to be out in three months, you know. She knows she gotta get that money up. She better get that money up, huh? She better get that money up. Well, he starts singing like a jailbird. And then that's gonna be smack dab in the middle. Bravo won't wanna give him a show. He can hang with Peter Thomas and Todd Tucker and shoot. Who else are you? Well, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna put Matt in there because mm -mm, he, he ain't at white. He wasn't an OG. Where Greg at? Yeah, go back and get Greg and they go to the lounge and smoke cigarettes and cigars and I talk about their wives more than likely, okay, and how they can get their cut. But I really wish a Bravo would give them a show because I would just love to follow them and forget about the Real Housewives of Atlanta because they ain't doing nothing in my book, nothing but catfighting and backbiting over there. I want to see some man's, men's making moves and trying to do something, you know what I'm saying? But that's all I have for this uh, short commentary. Uh, on Apollo night. Ah, oh, let's give him a new leaf on life. I mean, he's paid his debts to society. He's trying to do the right thing. And uh, barbering in cosmetology field, you get it with the right set of people, you can blow up overnight. You can have money stacked over hand and fist. Okay, that's a hustle job. But you, if your skills on point, trust and believe they're going to pay whatever you say. You want to design their head, sculpture it up for them, Put it, lay it, fry it up, dye it, lay it to the side, whatever. They'll give you the money. They sure will in Atlanta. Yep, they sure will, honey. But that's all I got for this uh, commentary on this story with Apollo Nida trying to do the right thing. But we got haters coming at, out of every office <laughs> of Atlanta trying to uh, bring the man down, okay? Can't keep a good man down, okay? He, he made mistakes. Such as we all have made mistakes. Man, not as uh, vast and uh, strong as he did, where it affected a lot of individuals, no. But, you know, a sin is a sin, you know. How big or how small doesn't matter, it's a sin. So he paid his debt. If the Lord can forgive him, why can't we? All right, be blessed, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.